One, two, three. We're very pleased with the workforce in the Pearl area. We're very pleased with the incentives the, the, the state and local authorities granted us to uh, allow us to get to this location. And this particular location, uh, from a logistics standpoint, offers us uh, what we feel a great cost advantage um, and a great sustainability um, benefit uh, based on our efficiency that we're going to gain from, from a freight perspective. Can you elaborate some on the, the just the strategy there, the logistics? Yeah, our products are typically 98% um, water, so we make them all today in Fort Madison, Iowa, and we distribute them um, across the nation. So one of our um, um, strategic initiatives was to try and reduce distribution costs while, while we reduce greenhouse gases, and uh, in order to do that we thought that a pretty logical step was to not ship water all across the country and try and manufacture closer to where we sell. Okay. Were there any other uh, things about Mississippi that attracted you as far as the business climate? or? Well, the business climate was very positive. Um, we had great incentives to come here. Um, we also felt like we had a great uh, facility here that uh, sort of paralleled our plant in Fort Madison. Um, and the fact that Mississippi is so centrally located to both Texas and Florida and the rest of the southeast made this a uh, great location for us. You know, we worked long and hard uh, with the Mississippi Development Authority and with Rankin First and the county and state officials on making this happen and, and, and bringing it to fruition. But uh, bringing Scotts to the area is a, is a wonderful, wonderful deal. And, and the fact that the products are so well known, uh, miracle Grow and Roundup products, uh, things of that nature, um, people know the products and uh, we're just excited to have the business here and to have the jobs in the local community. And uh, this, this uh, building was vacant for a long time. Talk about some of the challenges you had to overcome. Well, it wasn't vacant for that long. Uh, the, the, the business that, owned, that had it here uh, had left. It's probably been vacant for about six months. But, um, you know, the main, the, the main challenges that we faced were just getting the, uh, the tax incentives and the different, uh, the different uh, grants and things of that nature in, in place uh, to satisfy the company to uh, allow them to come into the community. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Just a great day for Pearl, and we're always looking for new business in this city, and um, we're just, just just looking forward to the future. Now, I want to tell you this that to to you guys with the company. Not only have we worked hard in getting you here, but we're going to work hard to keep you here. We're going to do everything we can in the state senate to make sure that you're happy with Mississippi, that you're happy with Rankin County, and you're happy with the city of Pearl. Uh, we like growing things too. And, and one of them is our economy, and we, we are uh, in one of the fastest growing cities and counties in this state. I think of how many times I've heard my daddy say, Cindy, go get some Roundup while we're out in the pickup truck looking at things. But it is a good day. It's a great day. The products you make, they make things grow that we consume, the things that we enjoy. But it also has been stated many times, it grows our economy, it grows families. And we just appreciate your community indulgence, your corporate indulgence, and this is uh, just going to be a positive thing for agriculture throughout Mississippi and throughout the country as these products are shipped out.